We are some first metric tier at your service, and where the heck is the game? It should have been cap. It should be capturing. And let's... Wait, what? Okay, why? Ah! For some reason, the source was hidden, but I don't remember touching that. I, I changed a few small things here, like uh, adding in. What was that flicker? Yeah, yeah I saw yeah. that too. Anyways, I, I just made in some you know, small changes like uh, this. Where, where'd he go? It, it, oh, there he is! Uh, yeah, on Sunday. Well, anyways, welcome back to No One Lives Forever 2 as Spy in Harm's Way, and uh, only just <laughs> I only just before the stream started noticed this. <laughs> uh, that is a cute little thing. I, uh, I noticed the, I noticed the bubbles before. Just I didn't know that they were following the arrow. Also, I forgot to put in the number of the stream. This is the sixth one that we've done in this game, I believe. So yeah, I'm just <laughs> adding that in quickly. And uh, yeah, I think we can take a guess as to what is going to happen. What? I think we can take a guess as to what is going to happen with the title of this uh, chapter. So, oh uh, dear. Again, for some reason, the, for some reason <laughs> the you know, VC face is refusing to register my mouse moving. Unless I open up like comp yeah, like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got hey, hold to throw my sandwich into your mouth there. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Shanker has forgotten his glasses and well he has long since forgotten to comb his hair. Let's have a little peek around. Uh, University of Hamburg, I believe that says. Uh, I can't read the lower bits. And wait, Jim's School of Science, <laughs> Dr. Otto Schenker, excellence in scientific research and discovery. <laughs> okay, Jim's School of Science. That, that, that sounds like a kid's thing. Let's see. Uh, wait, I think it might be a reference to Bill or something. Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> Yeah, it might be a parody of it, maybe. Could be, and I and I think that's the same photo as the previous game of his wife. Yeah, that that one looks just mm. like a picture from a dev. Yeah. Uh, it, like, it looks out of place with everyone. Anyways, let's start looking around. Uh, Bruno Laurie, Sec British Secret Service, Rehibar Awards. Uh, the third certificate in bravery and achievement. I got those the wrong way around. From 1929 or to 1946. I, I can't tell if that's a three. I, I can't tell if that's 1930s or 1920s on that. We'd need something with a zoom to <laughs> make it out better. And Oath of Allegiance. Of course, a British map, though it looks a bit off. That must be an old map. A uh, very old. Yeah. Uh, our objective is to find Shanker's glasses, but I get the feeling things are going to go bad real quick. Can't go in there. Okay, I, I must warn that I'm feeling a tad tired today. Uh, though I, we will go, I will try to go for the usual two hours. Though I'll try not to just flat, flat out fall asleep. Uh, don't worry, I will try to keep you awake. I should put have some hot coals around here. Bit of a snazzy theme for this place. The theme has been differing for each region that we've been visiting, I think. And this is the lobby. We've seen this in the... Well, in the start of the game, I think. Oh, no. 
case of fire, elevators are out of service. Yeah, don't go into an elevator if, during a fire. You're, you're basically just putting yourself in a cooking tin. Yeah. And also, now I've got another song stuck in my head. Uh, bloody hell, is some cool American cinema song that you play for gag still. Uh, let's go to the lobby or something. Yeah, that 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 was actually that's actually from a, an advertising thing that was in uh, cinemas for a time. Yeah, I found it cute the first time I heard it, but over the years, yep. I almost grown to hate it. <laughs> How did I miss this? Also, what did we just pick up there? A, a code breaker, okay. Oh, okay, I need a gun quickly. Fine. <laughs> give me that. And give me that. <laughs> and now it's been changed to the stupid little French tune they used. Oh dear. And I just realized something I'm glad that he didn't do. Hmm? Making the mi mimes shoot you with invisible guns. <laughs> it, that, it, as far as this game leans into comedy, that would have taken it one two steps too many, I'd say. Yeah. Oh. I, I, let's I, be I, honest. Uh, go ahead. As I, let's be honest, an invisible gun would be horrible. Yeah. Uh, and you? Oh, well, okay. Okay. Well, we know what our objective now is to get rid of these bombs that they really put up quickly. Okay, three more. Oh, hello, this is a familiar tune. Mixed in with a bit of French. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually not hating it. I'm. <laughs> it's uh, a charm. So, oh, I, I I used to listen to a French metal band. I forgot what the name were called. I know I, could, I, I know I could remember them as quick. I see the name or look up or the songs. History. Uh. Likely not for this has been years ago. Okay. Okay, what's <laughs> what's with Russia? Okay. Oh dear. But I'm, I know on. that after a while listening to them, I, I I did not know they were French until the lead singer uh, slipped out one of her uh, French accent uh, tones in one of her songs. <laughs> then I realized, oh, she's French. Okay. It, but did he run off? Hmm. No, a deck of cards, really. Where is that last one? BLT sandwich, turkey terrazina, and fruit cocktail. Okay, pretty nice. Wait, was that for lunch? Yep. Yeah. Who the heck British... has fruit cocktail for lunch? <laughs> Apparently the British. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. No. I... It's a spy yoke. <laughs> Shaken, not stirred. Uh, well, someone will be shaken if they make that joke again. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's. Where have they hidden these bombs? If if they put one of these bombs behind an invisible wall, <laughs> I'm going to throw this SMG at their faces. Right, if they did it, if I had an invisible wall, won't that basically break the game? I do not like this. 
Was it just me or was he just a walking pair of legs there for a moment? I don't know. I just blinked and missed it, literally. Okay, well, let's keep painting the place red. It could... The decor is nice. It... And I get the feeling we're missing some dialogue. <laughs> was he dabbing? <laughs> no. He was not dabbing. He was pulling a rope. Uh, well, he certainly he hung pulling... himself with that action. Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh. He was doing the whole mime pulling invisible rope thing. But I know I did the question in real life. <laughs> Uh, let's upgrade search so we can, well, search things a bit quicker, and let's see. Uh, I've, I've, I've actually read that most prefer to up uh, their armor over you know, stamina and health, because it's easier to find armor in a level. That is probably damn true, for we keep finding armor everywhere. Yeah, but bandages not so much, and they're also a lot smaller to spot. Okay, where are the rest of these bombs? It, the game says three more to go. Yeah, oh, there's one. Most of the time, in this game, unlike the other, we actually took more damage to the armor than our own health. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, come on. I mean, you. I blame you for this. Who's always speak in we. Uh, wait. W E as in we us don't, yeah don't take the word out of context please <laughs> I heard you pitter patter away oh <laughs> okay he actually tried to flank to double back on us sort of Oh, now you're merging with the wall. Okay, power on. I have to say I like the decor in this place. It is a, it, it is still business-like, but it's better than, well, plain, boring, you know, single and it, or two-toned uh, decors. Yeah, and they do have at least blue pillars. So I, I prefer more old-fashioned uh, designs. Like, uh, for example, I, I, I kind of like... T uh, yeah, yes, example, you know, th those uh, round tables with le curved legs with the lion feet, for example? Uh, yeah. I kind of like those, but... I'd be fine with our lion feet and all that, but at least I can like it when you do someone do some kind of uh, elegant style to it. Let's see. Go <laughs> <Post> service. <laughs> yep. Uh, was I disturbing something there? Miming made I'm, I'm, easy. Okay. I burped in surprise, apparently. <laughs> okay, oh, grab okay. all of that. And Immersed this. into one. Okay. Now, where is this last one? It's uh, nearby. I'm guessing it's more upwards than not. What is that? War Stories Company? Something like that? Hmm. Maybe? Okay. A big question for all of this, though, is... How the hell did the mimes find this place? Because, well, this is supposed... Well, supposed to be secret, even with all of the advertising all over the place. Okay, we can't call the elevator. Uh, invisible tracker? That could have been. 
Though, at what point could I have put that on? That was supposed to be a yoke! A mime yoke! <laughs> oh dear. But I hope we'll be getting to know soon, but I have been somewhat thorough with those things. Then we get to know an explanation to why it happened. Yeah. And how. Yeah, we completely missed this one. I'm so glad we didn't have a timer. Yeah. All personnel stand down from alert. The threat has been neutralized. Thank you. You, you make it sound like this is a common thing. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Uh, like, how many times a day do they have to fight off mimes with machine guns? Probably not often, but they probably have to fight off many others. Yeah. Uh, it's also, where the hell are the guards? Time. Yeah, yeah, you cannot su suspect them to have some guards here. Then again, uh, after what the guards did or rather didn't do to Kate last time, I can imagine a bunch of them might have been fired. Oh. Uh, yeah, the dumb asses forgot to pick up their pickup. Ugh. Ah, uh, bloody idiots. Okay, uh, trying to stumble my way back to Shanker. Um. He wasn't that his direction, I think. I, I'm, I'm just wandering through the entirety of the place, <laughs> trying to find him again. Oh, wait, it's up there. Okay. What's the chance of him being kidnapped now? Oh. Okay, he's still hiding. Where are you hiding then? I was half expecting to find him just <laughs> pressed up against the ceiling here. Hmm. Abinet? Really? You think he hides in there? <laughs> no. Oh, to all personnel from Mr. Jones, bear in mind that I will be on vacation for three weeks starting this coming Monday. Bruno Lowry will be temporary director of Unity in my absence. Please afford him, please afford him every courtesy. See you soon. Hmm. Is there a hidden switch here somewhere? Or do we actually have to go look for him? Uh, let's see. Find Dr. Shanker. Do they have a bunker or something? There's extra space over here. That's. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's just expansion space for when extra generators need to be installed or something. Okay, Shanker, where the hell are you hidden? I'm not seeing any hidden buttons. Did he run off to the cafeteria or something? He's behind behind that the uh, chalk thing. Well, I I took a look at it and nothing interactable came up. Hmm. I'm guessing this is still locked. It doesn't offer the open option, so I'm guessing it's just never going to open. It's just another door for us to knock on. Where the heck is he? One more, it's just big to, uh, he would hunk. Get down. Uh, no? Uh, okay. I. Yeah, I have no idea where the hell he could be. Other than the cafeteria, I think. Like, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised at all if a spy headquarters would have little uh, hidey holes 
in a way. Like in a wall. Wait, is that him? No, he had, he had normal hair. Yeah. <laughs> I like the fact that that's the thing you rec you recognize him by. Also, how far could he have run off without his glasses? Oh. That can actually be either far or the little. Depending how bad his eyesight is. Hmm. He could get on himself lost. Yeah. Where the hell are you, Shanker? Uh, no, he might be behind. There you are. I was worried you'd been kidnapped. Ah, you found them. Sorry to alarm you. Some strange small person popped into my office and I thought it better to run away. Commendable plan. Let's take a look at those files, shall we? A small Must person. Yes. I should think I can come up with something helpful. Of course, I'll need to analyze the data more thoroughly, so why don't you run along and blow something up for a while? Good idea. I'll just pop out and rescue Armstrong. Mm, have fun. <laughs> Armstrong. Okay. <laughs> he looked a bit like uh, the, the puppet from uh, Saw for a moment there with a big ass grin. <laughs> We, we both fought it! <laughs> Apparently, yeah. But we both, you both said so! <laughs> it, it kinda, you're just more creepy, actually. And also, they use our own ladybugs against us. If I'm the looks Seriously? of it, yeah. Let's see, Kate, uh, uh, chapter 12, Under Sea, Submarine Bay. Kata snuck aboard Harm's top secret underwater base in an effort to uh, rescue Magnus Armstrong from certain death. Her first task will be to locate him. Information on his whereabouts should be stored in the supercomputer. Once Armstrong is free, the two of them will have to improvise an escape route as Kate's shark mini sub only seats one. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh... Dang it. <laughs> Dang, nab, down, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Whiskey straight up. They really just slid in. Office? Bunch of damn girly men ain't willing to do what needs to be done. Oh, you don't want to listen to my problems. On the contrary, I'd hey. love to. Really? Oh, no. Also, we read really? about this place in the documents on Antarctica. That, yeah, it's this. It's this stupid little shark sub. Wait. Wait. There's two of them? A big one and a small one? No, that's the actual harm <laughs> sub. It, it looks similar to the damn shark one, just. bigger. You think you see what I mean? Yeah. Really, Kate? <laughs> Aim for his horse. We finally get a scoped weapon again, and Kate <laughs> decides to suck for the moment. Uh, what the? Here I go. Blake, Blake, Elf, you the one aiming? Now you you saw where that crosshairs was. And it's a crossbow. Oh, give, give, give in yeah. the box. And ammo. Uh, body remover. I don't think we'll need much of that at the moment. Yep. <laughs> and out of ammo. Okay. Hey, get up. <laughs> Is he running for an alarm? Okay, that one went straight on. <laughs> Maybe I, I use no... the zoom more? <laughs> uh, uh, again, that was a shot. What, what was up with the first shot that went way off? 
Purple, you didn't zoom in. And no, I, wait, I, I, did, I think we I know were what zoomed happened. in. I think I know what happened. I think he moved his head in the right split second to avoid it. No, what I'm talking about is that it went, uh, it went uh, diagonally up and to the right from where the crosshair was. Okay. Even though we have a lot of upgrades, and maybe it's just a random uh, stray shot or something. But yeah, that that was just really weird. Or uh, yeah, no, we haven't upgraded to max. I'll take that. Uh, what have we here? Uh, from Commander Pim. As you know, the super secret submarines and the key to Project Omega success. We must therefore observe a code of strict secrecy regarding their existence and capabilities. Do not discuss them even with your wives or girlfriends. Loose lips sink ships, as they say. Remember what harm stands for. Which, again, we never know. Oh, hello, there's the key. Yeah, and something else. Yep. Four dozen harm uniforms, black and red. Please return the old uniforms to head... <laughs> Quarters for recycling. Or really? So that's the explanation. They recycled the old costumes. Uh. Yeah, I, I really would have preferred it just completely if they'd stuck to the old black and red. It's generic, maybe, but it comes across as more competent and threatening than, well, <laughs> spandex jumpsuits yeah as well it, it, it also makes the comedy more worthwhile yeah they, they, they do, do more contrast up. yeah but here we all see with this current one we seen you actually expect them to be incompetent instead yeah which they may be but at least it, it's yeah at least it's not a a huge signboard. Yeah. Okay. And mad enough, the mimes are more threatening than uh, those purple suits. Yep. <laughs> that that, that well, says something, doesn't it? Yeah, they, they look like actual uh, strong mooks, not well, <laughs> overweight car salesmen. Uh, let's see. What? From Megan O'Malady, morale officer. Hi everyone, as you know, we recently held a contest inviting all employees to submit ideas for the new harm mission statement. Thanks for all four of your entries. Unfortunately, there's only room for one mission statement on the harm emblem, so three of you are just played out of luck. Here's the third place entry. Our mission is to proactively develop globally applicable expertise in order to build a sustainable, results-oriented evil enterprise. I can see why that one failed. No, please. Do I even want to know what the first place is going to end up? And uh, let's see. Let's go down bef because there's the package there. Hmm. Is it evil Kate clones? <laughs> Camera disabler. Okay, well, everyone who was alerted is now dead, so they will be actually useful now. Yeah, and also, wait, 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 how, mu how much uh, skill points do we have now? Uh, 21. Let's see, we could upgrade something else. Uh, let's actually upgrade our ammo capacity, because we've been hitting the ammo... We've been hitting the ammo uh, limit really easy yeah like, e even for it, the machine guns it seems we can only carry around three clips or so hey, yeah and it's not so oh. this is a pretty classy outfit compared to some of the places i've worked it used to be at cci right yeah in mockery makery bunch of low-life thugs it's nice to be working with professionals we've been around a while now in this business you adapt or die i hear you only complaint i got is the salute it's kind of complicated I'm always worried about leaving part of it out. Anybody explain the symbolism? What symbolism? Watch. The first part of the salute is heart. That stands for desire. The second part is world. The last part is grab or take. Ah, heck, that makes a lot more sense. Thanks. Anytime. 
We desire what? world domination. Yeah, no. I mean, even credit. They're all helpful to each other. Yeah. Like, they are not completely asshole evil. Well, not most of them, at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems that whoever is in charge of the vending machines is an asshole. Oop. Oh gosh, that's the second one today. Like, I saw one uh, not long ago, where a mall officer was filming that he had an issue with the, with the snack machine. And he was to fully punch it while filming it, and he... Gotcha. He broke through the glass accidentally. With one punch. Where'd the other one go? One punch a mall, uh, mall officer. Yeah, and, and yes, he was not ready for it. He was looking at the camera uh, like, oh shit. I'll take that. Uh, okay, th these, of these uniforms are a bit better, but they still look a bit weird. How did he get? How did he get behind us? Oh well, we can just wait for him in here. Come on, I don't want to kill you inside of the camera. That's why I ducked. That's why I ducked back earlier. Inside of the camera. Inside. Um, uh, inside. Yeah. That makes more sense. Hey Rodney, can you believe they finally listened to us grunts and got you know, some decent uniforms? I hope they re I hope they retake the company picture. When I get back, can you hook me up with Margaret? She's hot. <laughs> Your pal Nathan. <laughs> well, Margaret have, will have to find herself a better catch then, which she likely is. Uh, from admin to station chiefs, the new harm letterhead has arrived. So the supply will be picking up the old letterhead later this week for recycling. Well, <laughs> say what you will about them, they, they do recycle. <laughs> Oh, now they put a scope on this. But where did you come from? Or was there another one that got loaded by the, the gunfire? Oh no, I don't know what's going on. They, they are spawning in. Oh. For a moment, I thought you shot it with a crossbow. <laughs> well, it would certainly disable it, but it would also raise the alarm. Yeah, but also it would be a very... Ahem, you thing to do. <laughs> uh, Megan again. At the second place, our aim is to enthusiastically explore new maintainable law-breaking paradigms in order to fully functionalize our evil-doing opportunities and actualize our potential. They're all going to be overly lengthy, huh? Nope. Oh, urgent notice. Robots are not to be deployed in the umbilicus under any circumstances. Their targeting systems aren't sophisticated enough to distinguish between enemy agents and large fish. <laughs> I'm sure even the least imaginative of you can predict the consequence of robots shooting at passing sea creatures through the glass. Okay. That... Wait, like, why even have those on board? Yeah, security, I'm guessing. Hold on there, pal. <laughs> Miss. This <laughs> 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 well, was smarter than some of them. Duty roster changes. Please note that Frank's team is moving to day shifts this week. I guess that's what happens when you whine like a sissy about not getting enough sleep. Sheesh. <sighs> ah, final uh, silencer again. Okay, now we can. Now we can cause some trouble without Rodney making a ruckus. You, you are happy to finally get a silencer, and what do you do? You machine someone's sp you machine gun someone's spine and drag them around like a sack. What else would I use it for? 
Let's see. From Professor Hebert, uh, Hebert to Commander Pym, I understand you have filed a complaint with headquarters about the cancellation of Project Epsilon. My dear Professor, you cannot possibly consider that mess salvageable. The last thing we need this close to Conditioner Omega is an overly ambitious, inadequately managed distraction like Epsilon draining our resources and unmanning Ruel. Okay, the hell is Project Epsilon then? Let's see. Yeah, no, I'm curious. Oh, and this is back in the submarine bay. And hello, thank you. For either it's a very, very failed thing. That's rather obvious. Or it's something serious. And there's a note on the ground. Yeah. Oh, dear Martha, I've lived in agony since that fateful day in Morocco. For months I have mentally flagellated myself for my brass decision. Last month I left my wife and defected from the Soviet Union to join an independent firm with better benefits and an excellent profit share in program. I miss you terribly and want us to be together again. Will you have me back? Clark. C Clark. <laughs> this is the guy that... We, this is the guy who... Back in the, the first No One Lives Forever, in the Morocco levels, in the hotel, there was a note we... There was, there were a few notes we found about a clerk <laughs> who was, well, a Soviet spy who was <laughs> who'd married someone there. And this is that motherfucker. <laughs> uh, and right as he, well, decided to turn things around, he got turned inside out with lead. Okay. Heidi Ho, fellow harm collaborators, in honor, I'm honored to present the new harm mission statement submitted by Dmitry Volkov, our illustrious director of executive action. Our mission is to cause harm. Don't forget it or I'll strangle you with your own severed tongue. Very... <laughs> uh, I sort of expected Volkov to get the, the, with the win. Because he doesn't Was fuck it? around like most of these idiots. Wait, that would we kill him. No, it, he, had, he had that ski incident and he's rolling around. Oh, wait, cast it. I, I, I mixed him up with, not, with another character then. <laughs> mixed him up with a general we killed in the Soviet level. Yeah, that was Zukov. Okay. Yeah, the writing is getting up to par again. I can hear footsteps to the left. Okay. <laughs> Robot. So what's, what's, what's that? Oh, so, okay, so it's a robot and there's a note. And there's a guy there. <laughs> yep. Oh, we can actually search him. Stun grenades. Okay. We haven't used the uh, grenades much. No, 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 note, 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 on the ground, the first entry hall, look down. Ah, uh, there. It's probably about those. Uh, to Confucius Lee Robotics Department from Commander Pym. Mr. Lee, I came across an inoperative uh, robot on the crew deck this morning. It seems to have shorted itself out by jamming a fork <laughs> into an electrical outlet. Is this behavior normal? Uh, okay. So these things are vulnerable to electricity. Wait, hold on, no. Helian, you you did read the note, right? Yeah, it, it stuck a fork in the electrical outlet. What the heck? Uh, I'm guessing they made them very childlike in intelligence. We don't have our decoder with us. Okay. 
There we go. And at least trying to be stealthy this time. Okay, they're, they're actually smaller than I thought. I thought the other one was like two meters tall or something. Well, who said there's only one model? <laughs> yeah, true. And, and this is how we could have just snuck through here. Hmm. Oh, you woke up. Can I? Someone there? <laughs> yep. No need to track him. He's right there. Well, we at least can search through this. I, I was, I was going to try and zap him through the crates. Okay. Okay, I missed that we could actually open those. Though I guess I should have expected it. Camera there. Uh. I think we accidentally shot that guy with our last, <laughs> uh, with our last camera disabler. Uh, note on table. Yeah, first back to front. And if these can, can open, yes. To all team leaders from PIM, top secret. This communique is to advise you of a meeting this Thursday to discuss the rapidly escalating situation with the Supercomputer System and Services Department. Uh, we either need to completely overhaul the new requisition system or hire 16 new service representatives to handle the workload. Given our already the administrative overhead, staffing up that net dramatically isn't really an option. Swing one. To Pim from Clayton, the maiden voyage of the super secret submarine was an unmitigated success, except for a few leaks in the engine room and the fact that we lost power for 15 minutes for no apparent reason. I'm also happy to report that the radar tests far exceeded, yeah, far exceeded expectations. We were able to sneak up behind a US warship and weld the penalties onto her hull, which should carry and cause an uproar next time she's in dry dock. Okay. 15 minutes! That's already a very bad thing. And also... <laughs> what kind of prank is that? <laughs> a harm, Frank. <laughs> uh, for maintenance to haul, we've installed the test subject pods according to your specifications. We're going to be pretty busy this week because of the air conditioning meltdown. So be sure to let us know well in advance, meaning 24 hours, not 50 minutes. Pardon? If you need alterations. Okay. And then Pim. Two, yeah, two Pim from Lee. Uh, Commander, as you recall, I was instructed to follow Chief Security Fenster's design specifications explicitly, which I begrudgingly did. Well, Chief uh, Fen yeah, Fenster was very particular about making their robots invulnerable to small arms fire and even uh, most explosive devices. He didn't think to insulate the circuitry, so they're highly susceptible to electricity. This isn't my first. Uh, this is my first report of a robot suicide. Maybe it's because they weren't accepted for Project Omega. Uh, these are Project Epsilon. Hey, don't hurt me. No, please. <laughs> okay, now I'm just being uh, mean. Yeah, that was mean of you. Mean of the usual. <laughs> you want to go and apologize? Dang. I said okay. apologize, not to step another. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you to go a police and the first thing you do is sap another. All systems responding. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry I'm so hard that his hat is. You didn't think he would notice? Error. 
Oh, okay, that probably shuts it down for a really short time. Oh, this thing doesn't need to charge that long. Yep, <laughs> not what I wanted. Well, so much for stealth. I guess we know where they got the laser tech from. Yeah. Give yourself up. Is he going to shoot for it? Yes. Yep, camera. I give up. I don't. Oh, crap. You shot him in the groin. Oh, damn it. Don't think you can hide. Get over here. Please. Okay, we are losing a lot of health of this. Is this not? Again, we haven't lost much health to begin with, like, in the other game, we had a problem with health. Because then the armor was usually the savior. Here, the armor's doing very good work. Yep. Here, speaking of... But yeah, taking damage now is a uh, difficult climb. Okay, what did we pick up? Electrical charge ammo? No, that's that. electrical ammo? Uh, obtain the supercomputer user manual 1.0 from the supercomputer services department. Okay. And what is that about electrical? Is that for this? Tranquilizer electric charge. It might give enough. Yeah. Is that going to kill? Yes, that's going to kill it. <laughs> Just wait I don't think you can hide. Really? He got a statue. Yep. With his drink? Yep. Breadcrumbs. Okay. I guess he was in the mess hall earlier. Let's see. Can go grab something. So, well, you know the usual rule: yep. don't die. But also, just for extra challenge, stay stealthy. Error does not compute. Please consult user manual for correct input procedure. User manual can be obtained from Supercomputer Services Department in Corridor 2. You're in for it now. User manual, <laughs> you must fill out a <laughs> A handful computer? What is the... Oop. That guy. Does he not he not understand that you are in the intruder? Apparently. Unless he's a double ancient. It's going to zap these two because of the camera. What's wrong? I ain't taking the blame for this. I know you're around here somewhere. Okay, one of them is still up, but I'm guessing he's downstairs, which is where we need to go. Hmm. 
Let's see, what is with this? Uh, it's just a maintenance hook. Or transport. Damn it. Okay, he's quick on the draw. Damn it. Eat less. No, that's some tough glass. Then they can displace on the water, so it need it would be very handy to have bulletproof glass. Is that going to blow them up? Nope. Pity! But that would have been awesome. Really, only three bullets on you? Okay. Now, where is that? There's that lab. Okay, that must be the man. Yes, that's the manual. And a health kit that we don't really need. Oh, hello. To Dr. Hall from Dr. Kuzman. Considering the enormous expense of developing a super soldier, I think the only rational course of action is to attempt a full reconditioning of subject number 42. My research indicates that additional exposures to the solution would tend to have a cumulative effect, so it's quite possible we can still salvage Lieutenant Anders. It's certainly worth a try. They brought him over here, didn't they? Wait, what the heck was that calendar? Someone was off with it. Let's see. Sunday, oh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, dolphins in July, apparently. I thought yeah. they said dunes. <laughs> I thought, wait, dunes? And dolph with dolphins? I thought, wait, uh, what the heck? But no, it was me misreading. He ran for the alarm. He had that coming. If the alarm goes off, I'm killing every scientist in sight. Okay, camera is over there. Here we need to go. Error does not compute. What? User attempting to employ version 1.0 input procedure. Current version Sorry, is 2.0. Please consult supercomputer and you. user manual hey, supplement for up. updated input procedure. I ain't taking the Really? Place. Don't think you can hide. This stuff sure comes in handy. I know you're around here somewhere. <laughs> really? Where the fuck are we going to find the correct manual then? Are you okay? Hmm. I ain't taking the blame for this. Someone is cleaning up for Get us. Hmm. We have to go find that guy on the can or something. Actually, I think Leave we. Me alone. I'm unarmed. Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dog. Okay, you die. There we go. That'll set Please off the alarm do. again. 
but it will stop it from constantly going off because of these corpses. Do you seriously kill one of your kinsmen? Well, he, he uh -huh. set off the alarm. Did you kill a fellow lab coater? Okay, now where the hell is this guy? So, <laughs> someone's an early quitter. Don't think you can hide. You there, stop! I'm coming for you! Thought so. Yeah, at this rate, I think it might be easier just to shoot every camera to get one alarm out of them. Instead of them constantly going off. Wait, you have the ammo for tricking the cameras. No, we don't. Wait, what? Yeah, we, we only got two. Let me guess, you accidentally used them. Oh, on there, You're a Spencer. No, please. Oh, time for a siesta. Um, Here we go. I don't think you fall asleep off the electrical shock. <laughs> What's wrong? I see What's wrong is you're a dumbass. Okay. Now that we have that card, we can just get in there and get things ourselves. Did you just climb up between his legs? Let's see. Left-handed scissors. And nothing. Hey, get up! This stuff sure comes in handy. Where are ya? That's the that's not it. Okay. You can hide. There we go. Re <laughs> really a permanent marker with no cap that that's going to be dried out as all hell. Yeah. There we go. From the office of the director to command our payment, the director has decided on, mo uh, on a most suitable punishment for Magnus Armstrong, whose mora mora ambivalence and nationalistic tendencies uh, indirectly led to the dissolution of Project Lambda and the destruction of the Dumas Alpine Chateau. <coughs> because his loyalty has proven so inconst in uh, inconstant, we shall reinforce it compulsory by turning him into a super soldier. Transfer him to the labs on sub-level 4 for immediate processing. Called it. Have you just heard him? Now that was one of the, a goon walking around cleaning up corpses. Uh, now how do we get to that uh, sub-level? There's an axe there, but it doesn't actually tell us. Wait, that probably the door that we've been knocking at for a bit is finally open now. Otherwise, I have a method to open it. No, don't hurt me, please. Final chance. If it, I hear the alarm go off again, you I asked am... for it. You there. Okay, no alarms, or I'm leaving the scientists alone for now. There we go. Somehow one of the scientists got in there at one point. Okay, the crew deck. Nothing under here. Cameras in there somewhere. Close those behind because they do notice when they're open. 
Damn it. Are you feeling any better today, Chuck? No, my deformed friend. Like all quantities, horror has its ultimate blend of that. Hey, that's from the brain that wouldn't die, right? I love that movie. I never thought I'd be able to relate to Jan and Pan. Okay. Hello. I see you. Uh, oh. Uh. How the hell did you? Oh. Really? <laughs> I'm not. Yes, they actually alerted the rest. this maintenance checklist leaky pipe fittings fire hazards of standard sewage of chemicals slippery walkways i thought it was only on the desk as well I see you. Get over here. Uh, clipboard as usual you know what i'm just going to shoot every camera That. Now, is there any in the, any other smart asses going to come down this ladder? ladder? Yeah, it feels like like, like like my tongue is falling asleep already ahead of me. Please. I think it's one of those days, like before stream, I went out to get some cheese. I heard from TV in Swedish. I thought they said sausage, but it was apparently just basket. Basket in Swedish is kori. Sausage in Swedish is korv. Hence, I misheard. So I went back to put the cheese away. I always put the cheese in the dishwasher. For some reason. And then when I was the commented, I said the washing machine. <laughs> Uh, yep. well, I've had it. I've had it a few times where I've uh, I've went to clean up uh, the, the table, and almost you almost put uh, the dishes in the uh, in the fridge and the the food in the <clears throat> yep. and the food in the dishwasher. Oh, come on. For me, it wasn't the first time, but it seems like I'm not alone, at least. Though, we had someone leaving here once that... ...decided to... Uh, ...this was back in my dorm days, so I wasn't f fully leaving here, I am now. And uh, they decided to... ...instead of just taking down the dishes into the dishwashers... Hid the dishes in one of the closets. <laughs> the dirty dishes. Most yes. apparently forgot about it, but I remember. Wes, have you heard the rumor about Absalon? Better break out the resume. I heard Melody is hiring. Uh, don't you know someone over there? I thought you could put in a good word for me. And apparently we picked up a voice recorder. Yeah. And, all right, we got some good amount of uh, skin points again. Yeah, let, let's see. Uh, let's upgrade our gadgets some. Yeah, the, we probably should also soon upgrade health as well. Yeah. Let's see. Oops, spy manual. Okay, it does make That's sense for these hooks to be here. Since, well, it'd be hard to get stuff up and down levels. Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Let's see. James, don't be so gullible. Project Epsilon is going to be a great success. Professor Hibbert assured me the rumors are untrue, and I believe him. Wes. Okay. Uh, um... Hmm. 
third class. Yeah, okay. These uniforms sure look a lot better than the old ones, but the fabric is really uncomfortable. Yeah, well, they blew most of their budget the first time, so they couldn't afford the same material. I hope I don't get a rash. Really, you think these are better? Cornelius Fishpins, Anson, third class. Like, I'd, I'd be less annoyed if they agreed that the new uh, uniforms suck. Yeah, no, it seems... But the, this one we're facing now have at least somewhat better uniform than the ones in purple. Yeah. But still, the old ones were better. Hey, hurry, we got us a spy. Leave me alone, you ain't Come got on. a shit. There we go. Let's see. I'm guessing this is where they... Yeah, this is where they construct part of them. Modern genetics. Cloning. Okay. Hold on there, pal. And the... Yeah, there's the camera. Hello. Oh, what? Okay. That was the exit, apparently. So surprised. I can't say I was expecting to see you here. You thought I'd leave you to die? Uh, you think you can get me to this mess? Not a chance. But at least she can watch you die. Hurry up, lass! Holy! Oh, he's in the freaking fence. The, the face and like his face emotion is not bad. You're st creepy. They're He's yeah, they really. Like... <laughs> He's playing like yeah. a fucking gopher. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is they really need in making him creepy. I think I still would have preferred it if he was like <laughs> sat on top of some massive uh, doll-like like thing or something. Yeah, like a, a mecha mechanized hovercraft or something. Is it a very monocycle? And like, here's again, Anders. It was, it was comical, just. There's a point. Dang. Yep. Drama Queen. Well, that's another one I owe you. And Anders wakes up. Uh oh. Let's get out of here. Abigail! He still thinks that I Kate is. I can't control myself! Ah! Ah! Uh, well, time to escape another Ooh, uh, sealed good. container. Either head down that way or go away. Wait. Okay. I, I didn't think it put us right next to a transition point. Wait, but was it a multiple choice one even? Uh, I guess sort of. He 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 was going to say something, but I we missed it. Let's see. Terror in the deep. The devil in the deep blue sea. And the, you know, with the underwater base collapsing around him and a rogue super soldier on the loose, Kate and Armstrong must work together to escape from this watery grave. Assuming they can even find a way off the base, they'll have to find and still have to contend with well-armed and equally desperate harm personnel fighting for their own lives. Right, I'm off. <laughs> crap. Uh, okay, that's what's going on. I'm uh, yeah, I... Okay, security card. I'm curious what that other... Oh. Get lost. 
maybe the other thing a security camera is shorting out it'll zap me if i get too close find the security office what the hell okay security office found there we go I guess it is. It is not the voice actors are at least trying a bit now, and probably I feel like they are all getting a bit more into the character. Yeah. Even though it was rather late. Hold on, Mikey. I'll figure something out. Any luck? Almost. <laughs> really? Okay, you can join your friend then if you're just going to sit here watching him die. <laughs> clip that must be clipped. <laughs> oh. uh, let's see if he'll get caught in the replay save there. Uh, uh. There you go. I had to say, in this episode, you've been quite a bully. <laughs> oh, it's time to swim. <laughs> well, it but is the harm do... people were dealing with. Yeah. But you've been bullied too with the scientists yeah. as well. True, but they kept setting off the damn alarm. Oh dear. And whatever you do, don't fire the electric bullet. Nope. Okay, quickly get back for some air. There we go. That def that probably would have instant killed us. <laughs> also, hello. Uh, Megan again. I realized that we're in a mean, hurtful industry that prides itself on causing destruction and misery, but there's, that's no excuse for negativity. I've been hearing a lot of drumbling lately. I know some of you didn't like the uniforms I designed or the new logo. Uh, that's fine, really. My feelings aren't hurt. I just put on my heavy face and everything is A-OK. -okay. When people throw me a frown, I catch it and turn it upside down. You heartless bastards, I hope you all rot in hell. Uh, so you're responsible for the passion atrocities. Uh, the new logo works, though. Oh, uh, I think <laughs> it was the guy we zapped waking up. And Okay, we can't get through here. We can't get that, though. Ooh, we will keep... I think we might, might be able to upgrade something more soon. Yep. Okay, where the we hell should... do we need to go? Yeah, we, this time we should probably upgrade health. Since we are getting closer to the end of the game, probably. Yeah, okay, that is forcing air into this place. Now is it going to... Hmm. Is it going to be enough to get through somewhere here? Uh, so right there we go. For some reason, Kate wasn't speeding up anymore. Uh, it, it might be enough to make it easier to get more air. Mm, probably. Hmm. Open that, but we can't slip through. Wait, can you shoot the tanks? Going to try that, yeah. Oh, there's all oxygen tanks. Oh. <laughs> okay, we haven't used this thing in a bit. There we go. Grab some air. I was there a whip sound there. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Okay. Yeah, I I'm guessing possibly the other way around, re it, it could have been us. Yeah. We're yeah. working on it. Work harder. Those flames are eating up our oxygen. 
Go for them. I'm glad I thought that was Armstrong sneaking up on them. No. But no, it's a robot. There we go. I'm still surprised they, they really explode and don't kill stuff around them. Yeah, but probably they did that to make it not too easy that you couldn't... you, So you couldn't just blow up a robot and kill everyone around it. This is kind of sad, says they, they've been very true... Uh, you know what I mean, they do a lot of yeah. those things for quality. Details. So if it's weird... Yeah, it's basically like they skip out that detail that would make sense. Mm. Uh, after we're done here, I'll probably have to BRB real quick. No more coffee for you. There. No, her That's name's Kate, it's... not Gal. Her name's not that hard to pronounce. <laughs> Nope. Uh, let's not. This is a bit like the space station escape. Mixed with, uh, with that and the ship escape. Uh, that did nothing. Also, I'm just going to have to be a re right now. Right. Stream deck.
what the f- This one too? Okay. You, I can hear you. Okay, for some reason it looked like the audio from the microphone was coming in real low. Oh? Okay. Uh, but yeah, I think this might be a cause from me getting my hands on a bigger water bottle again. Like, it's, <laughs> it has me drinking too much, I think. That... Yeah, you hold, maybe don't fill it up to max or something like that. No, I think it's more from uh, me uh, using it, yeah, drinking too much at work. Because oh. yeah, with a with a security job, there often isn't much to do, so I just end up drinking water out of boredom. Now, what do we need to do here? Oh, oh. drinking out of boredom. Um. Erectus private deck. I see you. Also, the first one was right, yeah. <laughs> and a king during a situation like this doesn't help. Oh. Uh, what was that? Uh, Fred, I've always loved you, Gordon. Okay. Uh. <laughs> we just keep breaking up couples in this game, huh? Uh, let's see. You are! Commander, my private lounge is strictly off limits, even to you. Before you stammer out of feeble denial, I had that empty champagne bottle checked for fingerprints. I'm sure you can guess who whose they were. That lounge is my escape pod in the event of a base emergency. Commander, if I have to spend hours waiting to be rescued, I don't want to do so amidst <laughs> someone else's detritus. Let me guess. Up uh, there. That, that was my line. And we have enough levels to up your skill. You oh, hello. Hey, uh -oh. Oh, so oh boy. Quit grumbling. We could have left you for dead. Magnus, <laughs> launch the escape pod. Ah, must be jammed. Doesn't anything on this stupid base work the way it's supposed to? Nope. Guess I'm staying after all. What? That's crazy. I didn't come all this way to let you drown. Got a better idea? I'm the only one strong enough for the job. There must be some other way. Not unless you want us all to die. Wish me luck. The fact that he's doggy paddling uh, takes away from the scene a bit. Oh, I see. It's stuck against a rock or something. Do it, Magnus. Or not. Oh, no, it wasn't stuck. Uh, oh, well. He does look creepy as all fuck with that broken mask. Yeah, holy. Uh, oh dear. It, it's, it's really cutting into the serious or the drama of this scene by the fact that he's just fucking butt doggy paddling. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's just. You had to wait, wait. That does look like a shark. Yeah. <laughs> he actually survived. Oh. Never mind. You must yep. call off this operation. Call it off. Impossible. It was never approved. 
Only disgust. Well, I suppose I could be convinced for 100 million pounds sterling. You're mad. Am I? Unless I'm mistaken, once my super soldier sees Kios, it will be you facing the specter of annihilation. You leave me no choice but to contact our ambassador in Washington. Be my guest. Let's see if they believe you. He has a point there. Yes? Where have you been? Hello, I mother. Reach you all morning. Goodbye, mother. Don't you dare hang... I just got off the phone with Washington. The Soviets are denying any involvement. Lying bunch of whores. Washington has warned them that a Soviet flag flying over the island of Kios will be considered an act of war. I've completed my analysis. So what's this? Anti-super soldier serum. Perfect. What does it do? Do you want a technical answer? Explain it so Barnes will understand. It causes a chemical reaction in the super soldiers that essentially boils their innards. Well, hot damn! I think we should presume she's failed. We're running out of options. Where do I sign up for this shindig? But you actually got the <laughs> doggy pal this way out? You'll be on your own. If we put troops on that island, the Soviets will launch against us. We've warned the local authorities not to interfere, since their weapons would be useless. They could at least give the super soldiers some alternatives to shoot at. Why didn't I think of that? You've got to use your head, sir. <laughs> I'm strong. Yeah, like, they, they're kind of strong at the more personality, but the, some of the... Again, people love they are more lively, which I agree, but the dialogue still suffered. Yeah. Chapter 14, For end game. Well, that's <laughs> that's an end uh, final chapter name as ever. Yeah. Again, I, I, I think he says uh, uh, for why well, they look more lively. Uh, the voice acting is better, but it still feels like there's something, there, there's pieces so, missing from the cutscenes. Yeah. Let's see. Manhandled. After falling into the hands of harm, Kate finds herself in a needlessly elaborate but nonetheless perilous death trap. She'll need quick reflexes and extraordinary judgment to emerge unscathed. Meanwhile, the situation in the Sea of Mar uh, <clears throat> Marmara is getting bleaker by the hour. If she's going to derail harm's nefarious machinations, she'd better do it quickly. Is she going to get put through that <laughs> device? Yes, she is. Oh, no. I considered putting a bullet in your head while you were unconscious. Why didn't you? Too easy for you, after all the grief you've caused us. It's not enough simply to let you die in your sleep. Director, there's a call. There's an urgent telephone call for you. I see. Wait, isn't, wasn't he on the escape pod? Also, the reason I figured out the reason why I find Isako's face so flat is because everyone else's faces are so exaggerated. Do it yourself. Start the mechanism. Welcome to the Manhandler, Arm's latest all purpose death trap and automated torture device. Let's take a look at what today's victim has in store, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> great. That's right, folks. The victim is about to become a living block of human misery. The perfect punishment for all those naughty boys and girls who need a reminder of how completely and utterly insignificant they are. The procedure is even 65% reversible, which means you can reward your man crates for good behavior by turning them into pale, quivering shadows of their former selves. Heat up the griddle and get your spatulas ready. We're making man cakes. How about a bowl of chunky Manhattan-style man chowder? Mamma mia! It looks like today's victim is in for maximum punishment. Get ready for the main course, ladies and gentlemen. We're having spaghetti with man sauce. Really? First, the victim will face the crushing agony of the mighty tenderizers. Next up are the howling saw blades. Followed by the infernal flame jets. And leading finally to the swirling agony of the man blender. This will be the first time the man 
Panther has been used at its highest setting. There's a lot of anticipation in the air today, ladies and gentlemen. Well, <laughs> let's manhandle! All of that. All of that build up and it just parts on itself. Take Mulroy and go help secure the power station. Can't afford to let her get in there. Ooh, thank you for alerting me of that place. Ow. Wait, <laughs> his body gets thrown around by the grenade? I think so. Okay. Wait, 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 upgrades, upgrade, upgrade. Time to uh, upgrade the health and final mission. Yeah, might as well. Let's see if we'll end up having to fight Isako another time. You've underestimated us so many times, it's hilarious. They're actually doing a pitiful amount of damage. Did the one actually thank us? Yes. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What, what did the poster say? Remember what harm stands for. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, uh, someone in the chat. And hello there, Truth, find, yeah, th yeah, th Truth Fighter 93. The first first person shooter I've ever played, and still one of the best. Uh,. Personally, I don't like it as much as the original, but it does has its uh, strong points. <laughs> and uh, welcome. Uh, yeah, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I, I think we're, I think we're in the final chapter of the game. <laughs> uh, dear Eustace, uh, I haven't been able to reach you on the phone since yesterday afternoon, so I'm forced to write instead. I spoke with Uncle Winston today. He's feeling much better after passing the kidney stone. The doctor said it was as big as the Hope Diamond. I'm sure he'd appreciate a call from his favorite nephew, but I suppose that's too much to ask. Your mother. Uh, I, I have to say, I am getting a bit sick of the mother joke. <laughs> also, let's not net get boxed in by those guys. Here I go. What? I just slammed you with another one. <laughs> Or didn't you hear the speakers? Yeah, his mother is again calling up. Oh, hello. <laughs> Problem solver. <laughs> Gesundheit. Ah, thank you. I very much love you to bullshit. <laughs> uh, director's eyes only. Re 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 revised our PR plan. Print. Starting in May, we'll be running full page ads and criminal... <laughs> The monthly and the maximum village, uh, yeah, villain um, magazine. Uh, we've also got gotten point interviews scheduled for several European newspapers, as well as a batch of death threats and extortion letters for the US press. We'll be submitting our radio and television PR schedule separately. Uh, and yeah, saying Gesundheit. <laughs> There's actually a bit of a, you know, a small story behind it. Uh, I, I used to play the. Uh, the old uh, Harry Potter games, and in one of them, in one of them, you have these uh, secret passages that you could ac get access to for fast travel. And one of the code phrases for moving through one of them is Gesundheit. Hey, okay. well expected. See. To HR from Associate Commander Saperstein, Hensman Frankel's body odor is beginning to affect morale. I have too many <laughs> inquiring about transfers in the past three days. Uh, oh, I, was, 
Oh, so sorry if my model seems a bit inexpressive impressive. For some reason, it's refusing to register mouse movements lately. Yeah. Also, Hina used to say Gesundheit to me whenever I loudly sneeze. Ah, crap. You there. Stop. Oh, Oops, thank you. Okay, that worked. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are getting a bit low on ammo. Okay. Stun grenades. We still have hardly ever used any of these, so we're just going to use these right here and now. Well, you did use it once and failed. Ball of lint. Hello, what's... Kios invasion plan. We have completed our tactical analysis of the Kios situation and have determined the following. Part 1, arrival. There's only one way onto the island by sea, through a cave that climbs from a tiny beach on the western coast to the cliffs above. It's a treacherous pass route, but with the super soldiers advancing ahead of us, we'll be, you know, we will slice through any defenses we encounter. The secret and super secret submarine should be able to pull right up alongside the beach for easy disembarkment. Okay. Although that, that tactic does make sense. Yeah, since, since they are giant meat shields. Also, let's not yeah. forget to turn this off. In, well, the best way possible. Uh. Net automatically set off an alarm, it seems. Okay, let's grab all of your ammo. And move on to the other one. Let's see. Uh, we've got about 20 minutes left in the stream. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget, you're adding time for your own at the bathroom. Uh, yeah. Let's... Uh, I stopped the timer. So... Yeah, still 25 minutes. Okay. Other power generators should be here. With that, the, yeah. head, the snake's head should be cut off. Uh, oh dear. We're all very close to the end, apparently. Uh, I get the feeling we'll have one more chapter, perhaps, on Kios itself. Also, we don't have the electrical rounds to deal with you. you yeah, do we... I will not be surprised if the, that level is short, since we already <laughs> finished the two longest level. Um... No, that was a wasted shot. This <laughs> is a, a rocket launcher out of nowhere. Okay, I'll take that and run away with it. And run away from this. Ow. Hello, boys. Bye, boys. Give me all your ammo. All right, now our plan is heck? to get out. Just, just how quickly that unfolds as well, because we have our gun handling so high. <laughs> yeah, ow, <laughs> almost. <laughs> Close. Well, so close to dying, so we do need to go find some bandages somewhere. But uh, say so. In, you so information in the chat here. Yep. In the corner of this room was a box with some of the electric bolts to kill the robot. Might be a good way to grab it in case there's more robots. Likely, yeah. 
And with this room, I, uh, I'm guessing you mean the one at the end here? Let's see. I definitely overlooked that then. Probably because I, well, kind of saw the robot and panicked a bit. Uh... Hmm. Oh, th there was the box there, but it contained the micro <laughs> missile launcher. Oh, th there we go. Thank you. Thank you. That information will hopefully help us the rest of the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Bernardo, back to this thing. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. I, I definitely don't think this is a bad game. I, I, For the most part, I've enjoyed it. There have been hindrances here and there that have uh, frustrated me really, strong, really strongly, especially in Morocco. or No, not Morocco. In uh, India, Kolkata. Uh, but for the most part, this is a good game. I, Though I think overall I still prefer the first one, though that could in part just be because of nostalgia. Because yeah, I, like, I played that game a lot more. Like visually, I think this one is better, and I have done a lot of improvements. However, story and dialogue-wise, I think I like the first one better. Says I feel like, like sure they made the story. Uh, story element more cinematic but they yeah it feels like there's a lot of scenes cut out for some reason yeah like there's bits missing in parts yeah this makes it rather confusing and it takes a bit of a while until the voice actors get into the role but it's always the game's good yeah yeah, the first game was also much longer. Here, hello. Yeah, the, the first, I think with the first one they went a lot more towards the cinematic feeling, and with this one they went more towards action game feeling. Uh, part 2, Attack. Yeah. Historically, the inhabitants Ooh. of Kios have been able to rely on the overwhelming tactical advantage afforded by the island's unforgiving terrain. No conventional invasion forces ever come close to making the long, treacherous climb from the shore. All the defenders have to do is pour uh, some boiling oil down the stairwell and the assault is over. Our super soldiers re render any such tactic useless and allow us to quickly crush any organized resistance. Well, unless they, well, pour out something slippery instead, because I, I'm pretty sure those super soldiers are not going to be able to uh, <laughs> get their balance right between steps. Then again, they probably weigh a ton, so it, it's possible they wouldn't even slip it to begin with. Yeah, and also, that's a that's a military tactic that's very old and a surprise they still use, but kind of makes sense in that situation. Yeah, if if you if you can only be approached through a choke point, you're going to do whatever you can to reinforce that choke point. Yeah, the question is, ain't ain't using that kind of oil against Geneva Convention? Not sure. And again, I don't think <laughs> Kios would be part of uh, any such <clears throat> any such uh, convention. Uh, what or the? They... Oh, it's machine. I thought first of all, that was a monster. <laughs> Just doing a quick check around to see if there's any documents lying here. Oh, actually, there's a. There's an entire passage that way. Let's go take a look here, then. Might be the last bits of intel that we need. Oh. Uh, hello. Dear Eustace, I ran into Shirley Polbutter at the club last night. She had some very intriguing news about Felicia. Yeah, uh, Felicia. But it seems her husband, that dreadful boar from Edinburgh, Hung himself in the cellar last month, which means Felicia's single again. I know you've always found her rather homely, but you haven't seen her since the electro, electro, 
electro electrolysis and dental surgery. Her sideburns are much less prominent and she can even get her most, most of the way closed. Your mother. Uh, just evil seems to run from start to finish in this family, doesn't it? Yeah, and... Wait. Is his mother just trying to use her own son for gossip? Uh, I don't think it's that specifically, but... Uh, I heard her voice from the other side there. She definitely does not really want what... <laughs> I can definitely see why the hell he keeps hanging up on her. Yeah. Though, honestly, he, I don't get why he hasn't had her assassinated yet. But this is in the 60s, so... Uh, yeah, he... Uh, I kind of wonder that there, if they that just aren't able to just uh, block her. Though, I don't wonder, how the heck does the letters get in so fast? Express delivery? Oops, oh Indians. dear. Uh-oh. Uh you're, you're still kicking? <laughs> Figuratively speaking. So you developed this new artificial lava? Sure did. You like it? Heck yeah. Pretty damn spiffy compared to that crap we used to have. It can handle temperatures up to 343 kelvins. The previous substance deconstituted at around 313 kelvins. I take baths hotter than that. The only problem is it doesn't really look like lava. That's actually by design. Our first few prototypes were very naturalistic, but the focus group results weren't where they needed to be. So we said, hell with it. Let's just concentrate on making it look cool. What was wrong with the realistic stuff? People take reality for granted, so it's hard to impress them with your garden variety liquid magma. Why do you think we have our headquarters in underground caverns? It'd be a lot cheaper and more convenient to lease an office building, but then you get potential clients who don't think you're evil enough for the really high-profile operations. Makes a lot of sense. Take a look at the latest Criminality Monthly. They profile two evil organizations, Misery Incorporated and Fist of Injustice. If you look at their CVs... What's the CV? Curriculum Vitae? Like a resume? Anyway, Misery Inc. is a way more sophisticated outfit. Fist of Injustice is strictly third-rate. Kidnappings, extortion, the petty kind of stuff any guy with a two-car garage and a mental disorder can pull off. But they've got a much better rep in the criminal industry. No kidding. I thought they were pretty much on par with us. We've got more evil in our daycare center than they have in their entire organization. But they hired a top-rate design firm to help them with their lair. Is that the place that's sort of a science fiction medieval dungeon kind of thing? That's the one. I'll bet it's all held together by strings and chewing gum, but it sure impresses the media. <laughs> Fake lava. I see her. And also, I think it would help if we found more of these dialogues for... We missed many due to we keep getting spotted by an unexpected direction. Yeah, or just so we, straight behind a cover. Yeah, so we, we may, may missed a lot of these fun dialogues that we enjoyed a lot easier in the old game. Yeah. But yeah, I think the biggest weakness in this game, beside, like, they tried to make the, this. Well, I mean, uh, Again, cutscenes more cinematic. Volkov. Oh dear. Right. I want to say they did make the cinematics more cinematic here at the cost of dialogue. But the biggest weakness is the stealth. Yeah, I've talked multiple times about that already, but the detect the stealth system is simply is simply inconsistent with how it's how easily we are detected or not. And yes, that is a fucking rocket launcher in this thing. Actually, I don't think he's in much danger down there. I, I think 343 Kelvin is about 
like uh, hmm hold on a sec yep. a bit late on that one I think it's only like 40 degrees or something it's still hot as hell to be in but uh, survivable don't forget he can't swim at the moment yeah so he might drown hello uh two volker from the director well your mime solution was very, every bit as much of a fiasco as i predicted not that isako was any better i'm starting to question her value to the organization we should have brought in the australian the <laughs> australian <laughs> were they going to sick crocodile dundee at us or evil crocodile dundee oh dear oh okay nicely hidden yeah and xp let's see what else should we upgrade and uh, let's see that's 60 percent. that's 50 percent. let's go with armor we're in the end game hello all the way back here i thought i might run into you i knew i would run into you what do you say we pretend we didn't see each other i can't oh uh, here we go again and this is right where we freaking started yeah uh, okay the dialogue here was a bit better yeah it makes it all the all the worse that uh, they never well the project I'll count Project Jack as a 2.5 attempt, but yeah, it's, still makes it sad that there was no full No One Lives Forever three ever. Oh, almost out of ammo Ooh. again. Hopefully, so they get the chance to do it again. Maybe someday, with all the revivals that have been happening lately. I wouldn't be surprised if at one point uh, someone will try to revive No One Lives Forever. Okay, which of you... Yeah, like, it would be nice with the, the finally a third one. Okay, uh, toxic tip rounds. It's been a while since we've had to deal with these. Yeah, and also, fun fact. The Ninjas, Izuku, and Kate are all voiced by the same voice actress. Yeah, which makes things a bit awkward. Yeah, and uh, no, we could explain a few things. Since it would mean she actually had to work so many voices. There we go, still stole your shuriken. I see you, Isako. Uh, uh, yes, the ninja meat you... shotgun. Oh dear. I was wrong to have spared your life all those years ago. You've been nothing but a disappointment. Sayonara. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I think that's went for his head, actually. Really? Damn it. Are you all right? Can't say much for your taste in employers. He was like a father. You're better off as an orphan. I am in your debt. Then will you please stop trying to kill me? What's wrong? Okay, that's imp <laughs> you know, that's really shit metal, or she's actually strong. Well, I'm late to a war. Sayonara. Again, her face looks so flat compared to everyone else's. <laughs> Again with him. Yeah, but she still looks... She and Kate still looks way normal than the rest. Yeah. Especially compared to the <laughs> the director's over jutted face. And looks like there's at least one more chapter to go after all. Preemptive Strike, the fate of Kios. 
The world teeters on the brink of nuclear catastrophe, with the United States and Soviet Union closer to war than at any time since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Again, the fate of humanity hinges upon the sover uh, sovereignty of a tiny na island nation, like Cuba previously. Harm's super soldiers are en route to Kios aboard an undetectable submarine designed to bypass the inevitable NATO blockade. The Americans can't send in troops to defend the island without provoking the Soviets, and yet the Soviets are claiming they are powerless to stop, and stop the invasion. Both sides are locked in a deadly standoff, but it's, harm, it's Harm's finger on the trigger. Let's see... Uh, also of note, uh, uh, Truth Fighter, I... Uh, I actually never played this game before streaming We're it here. Detecting an unidentified submarine near the coastline. They slipped through the blockade. Attention all personnel, we are at DEFCON 2. Repeat, we are at DEFCON 2. Think the president would let me push the button? I'm surprised he let you use a telephone. President Johnson is about to address the American people. My fellow Americans, it is my grave duty to inform you of a crisis unfolding in a far-off land many of us have never even heard of. Even as we continue to endeavor toward peace in Vietnam and a settlement to the continuing crisis in the Middle East, a dangerous new menace has cast its shadow over the tiny island nation of Chios in the Sea of Marmara off the coast of Turkey. For decades now, we have lived with a constant abiding fear of war against the Soviet Union. During the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962, we came as close as any of us would ever hope to come. It is therefore with deep sadness and frustration that I must brace the American people for an equally dangerous standoff half a world away from the site of the last terrible confrontation. America has guaranteed the continued independence of Kios at any cost. Now we are being asked to stand behind that pledge. We cannot back down from it. God save us all. Real sneaky trying to get over to the button. Aye, aye, sir. Uh. Perfect. Begin deployment. We're picking up an inbound jet fighter. The pilot is giving the code Fox Hunt. Kate! Agent dumbass in position. So where the fuck did you get a jet? Uh, Kate, you do know that those things don't have an auto land thing. Damn that meddlesome girl! Didn't think you'd make it. Neither did I. Where's the ammunition? On its way. Bruno says they finished assembling the capsules. They'll be airdropping it to us any moment. Good. We should be able to hold out as long as Dr. Schenker's super soldier tonic does what it's supposed to. I have an idea. Stay here and make sure nobody gets near that flag. Okay, uh, let's see, how much time do we have left on the timer? Yes, three minutes. Hmm, do you want to try and extend this? Because it does feel like we are at the actual end game now. I say, let's extend this and finish it, but this has to be... I think I heard that this might be this last level. But I think it was, I think it was measured was 15. Uh, I think this is... Oh, chapter 15, okay. Okay, and yeah, we can extend it by like a half an hour or more if need be. And to miss this off. Yeah. For, but as well, for, I think I heard that 
that from the game and lies that many of the other chapters are very short okay, compared to. Been a bit since we've heard from Santa. Yeah. Oh, speaking but, but... of. Hello. Hello. The old episode. That's what you get for interrupting me, yellow rolling oh, yeah. bastards. Okay. Right, what I was trying to. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> Stay dead. Uh, what else? <laughs> Thank you, alien. <laughs> what I was trying to say is the Soviet level and the Calcutta level were the longest one. And according to yeah. Game and Lies, is the other the levels are extremely short compared to those. And I think we're. Thank you! I, I think the pronunciation <laughs> is G-Man Lives. Yeah, G-Man Lives. Uh... Okay, where did that package drop? <laughs> Ooh, uh, hello, boys. Oh, it's right in front of them. Give me that, give me that. Dear Cage, you can equip these anti super soldier serum capsules in your CT 180 utility launcher. Fortunately, it isn't concentrated enough to destroy an active target, but you can knock super soldiers out temporarily by inflicting enough damage. Shoot them with the serum while they are powered down. Be quick or they'll recover and you'll have to knock them out again. Okay, I'll also take that. You cause Miss Red. Don't care, need to kill. <laughs> yeah, just. You said secret soldier instead of a super soldier. Right, there we go. No, <laughs> okay, just going up in flames. There we go. They seem to overheat almost. Yeah, that. <laughs> that. That would likely hurt us all hell. Oh, combat shotgun again. Yeah, this is you get a lot of XP just for killing the super soldiers. Maybe we able to have enough points to upgrade more. That's the timer going off, silencing that. And yeah, we got disrupted at the very last second there. That's a quite a cinematic uh, interruption. Okay, eat your pills. There we go. Only 100, but there are five more to go. And uh, yeah, this is going to give a headache to the people in the submarine. <laughs> uh oh. Well, now it's extra super secret at the bottom of the sea. It's got a Comic-Con. They may have a high-tech submarine, high of this class, but you still destroy it with a big rock. <laughs> you, you have to admit, that there, there, there's the... Uh, what would you there's call a it? A certain... Uh, irony. Yeah, certain irony, yeah. Comedic irony. Like, I think there's a phrase that, is, that you may have the most powerful weapons, but I can still kill you with a rock. Yeah. Or something. Okay. Four more to I go. Don't who, I kind of wonder who missed said that line. Yeah, you can probably oh, yeah. Google it. There we go. Okay, it takes about a clip and a half. Three to go. But, yeah, um, 
I've talked about it more than plenty of, but this game and the original, they both have their strengths and weaknesses, and of course I am biased towards one. But they're still both good games. Yeah, and I guess it is, if you merge both together, the best aspect of both. Yeah. A lot of heck, it would be a good game. Oh, there, here's all three of them. And there's more ammo getting dropped in. Oh, they seem to have better uniforms now. There we go. Yeah, the, the, again, the the black and red might have been rather uh, generic, sort of. But I do think it looked better than the, th this darker purple and red. It does work as well. I, actually, those might be the recycled uh, uniforms they were talking about. But the, the first one we saw, the, the purple and yellow, yeah, that was just horrendous. <laughs> Yeah, like it, they're all good color combinations, just not for a uniform like that. All right, let's grab this. Oh, hello. Uh, hey, uh, what? Oh, anti, <laughs> anti super soldier serum. <laughs> um, <laughs> just the, ass the, <laughs> or ass. <laughs> uh, what the heck? You might did not like you trying to say that word. Uh, it's only your own might trying to say this to you. <laughs> and also, it 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 it's not like almost a gaming nerd joke, angry yeah. video game nerd. <laughs> yeah, that was what I was trying to emulate there. I, I think I might. <sighs> do that, but I don't want to disturb my neighbors by trying to. Hello, boys. Goodbye, boys. <laughs> I actually got them. I didn't expect that to actually land. Yeah, you, you got half of them. Actually, oh. how do they respond to this stuff? <laughs> um, you're gonna miss it in chat, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a dose of ass? <laughs> Where are you two? Like, literally, where are you two? Did they... Did they get blown off the edge or something? I'm pretty sure I still saw them alive, and we they definitely didn't slip past us here. Uh... Cliff? No. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. You might want to work on your aim a bit, dude. Not a single hit so far. Come on, laser face. There we go. Oh, it actually got a shot in. Also, shouldn't you be fucking off somewhere non-nukeable? Nope. Or punchable? We're in business! The flag. We have to stop that missile. Too late, boy. She's out of range. Damn, I wish I had some popcorn for this. Now, what's that girl up to? Uh, bleeding out by her stomach. Sorry, I can't stay to see the fireworks. I really must be going. Ta-ta. You and what? You and what submarine? Hey. 
Um... The Soviets are promising to launch a full retaliatory strike unless the missile is destroyed. This is getting better by the minute. Then... <laughs> Why are you fucking dancing, Ooh. dumbass? Your entire I've... country is going to get nuked. Yeah, I think he's one of those... I forgot the term, but... Warhawk. Yeah, kinda. Who loves to cut this so much, but wants to show it by crushing everyone else. Yeah, and leading to its own destruction. Yeah. Basically, a person that should not be in the military. Come on, come on. Unless that warhead wasn't armed yet, he was just going to have to deal with uh, a century or three of radiation. You're still alive. Well, that's enough for me. I am long overdue for a pint or two. So, what happened anyway? I thought you were going to guard the flag. Don't even start, girly. I single-handedly fought off a super soldier invasion, and you couldn't even handle one little self-infatuated sissy with a target pistol. He took me by surprise. Maybe you would have heard him coming if you didn't have your head up your ass. Have some sympathy. I was shot multiple times. Ooh, poor baby. Don't you mock me, woman. It stings. Yeah, okay, that... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I hope that general gets run <laughs> through a meat grinder for what he pulled. Uh. Yeah. yeah, the, the game definitely get better with dialogue and all at the end. Though I don't feel like we would probably have more positive to say if we did not miss so many NBC conversations. Yeah. Oh, cutscenes have the credits. Just like. Oh. It's, uh, thank you for the late nights the last weeks and most of all, your incredible something. It, yeah. <laughs> Bruno needs a drink. Ah, there you are. Anything interesting happened while I was away? Not particularly. Well, I suppose you're probably eager for some excitement. Not particularly. Is everything all right? Not particularly. <laughs> Bruno just wants to die already. Uh. <laughs> Th oh. That uniform there looks better as an artwork. It, it also guess... helps when it, it it also helps when it isn't loose as all hell. I I guess that was a problem with the animation. Like they had a good artwork when when they tried to do free in a model, it yeah fell apart. Okay, that oh dear. That red glasses that on Isaka good. would have helped her. A lot, and yeah, this original sound again, your song again. <laughs> yeah, uh, and also, I gotta say this. I have noticed this entire game that uh, Kate never wore a bra, apparently. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, don't tell me you didn't notice. You didn't notice, mm. did you? No comment. Uh, holy crap, that artwork! Yeah. Looks even, almost even more imposing. Car mm -hmm. motive, the, the robots. Which look a bit okay. like uh, Robo Brains from Fallout. 
Can they? Can, let's say this, if they were to remaster this, this offer could really work with modern graphics. Yeah, and I would definitely say just <laughs> get the get the harm henchmen a fitness program. Yes, it, I really can't take them seriously when half when well the near the entirety of their <laughs> ground forces are overweight cars look like overweight car salesmen. Oh, this. So many voice actors were used assigned for many characters. Oh. Supercomputer and the robots. Yeah, okay, that, that, that mind looks terrifying actually there. <laughs> Terran Sloggins as himself, what? Also, I have to say that the voice actors did grow on me towards the end, but that might have been because we've been dealing with them for 12 hours now. Yeah, but both that and they did get better. Like, I think in the start they hadn't got them feel for the character yet. Yeah. And they catched uh, onto the character at the end, basically. Which, uh, again... Considering how shortly this was made, possibly, I would not blame them. Yeah, and for, even uh, for the, what, yeah, for the how little time they might have had to make this from the first one going, they still did a very well, a good job, all things considered. And yeah, oh, yeah. The, the thing with the destroyed super soldier at the end could be confusing for first players. Uh, yeah, we found uh, in Antarctica, we found all of the intel related to that. Uh, uh, Kate resembles his daughter. Grace to this family. Yes, mother. When your cousin Beauregard went to prison for arson, I thought that was as bad as it could ever get. Beauregard is a saint compared yep. to you. Yes, mother. I <laughs> hope you're proud. Yes, mother. And another thing. I quit. What do you mean you quit? You can't quit. Watch me. Dimitri. <laughs> Dimitri! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this shit I'm out. The last of harm. You can either stand with us or against us. <laughs> uh, even Dimitri is just sick of this shit. What the <laughs> heck? How? How? Uh, he, let me... he should at least be drowned. Let me take a quick little look. Uh, let's see. Let's... Uh, three, four, three. Kelvin. It wasn't deep enough, was it? Could also be the case. Oh yeah, 343 degrees Kelvin would have been 70 degrees. So he, uh, he should be pretty cooked still. Then again, maybe all of that cost work protected him. They should have done harm his face. Uh, and yeah, that has been No One Lives Forever 2, A Spy in Harm's Way. And I almost read that Y as an axe, so that would have been an a, odd title. No One Lives Forever 2, A Spy in Harm's Wax. <laughs> <Dear>. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that'd be a title. Yeah, and well, that means that we're done with the No One Lives Forever yeah, franchise, because uh, from everything I've heard about Contract Jack, uh, yeah, I think I'll continue to avoid that. <laughs> you will avoid that. That's an order for your first mate. And you are the captain, so that's just say something for your own first mate order or something. Uh, yeah. And that does mean that next time, which is likely tomorrow afternoon, uh, we'll be moving on to... Uh, yeah, yeah, to Rayman Legends, the currently last of the Rayman platformers, uh, mobile not included, but we don't stream mobile games. Thankfully. And, uh, yeah, then. Uh, let's get out of here and look for someone to raid. Oh, and... oh wait, 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 wait. I gotta get, hmm? grab my burger and my new cannon. Okay, mute sites and close the game off at the. I, 
I have to say, at the start, I was... My hopes were a bit raised up higher than they probably should have been. But overall, I, st I still enjoyed No One Lives Forever 2. I, I would advise people to be, well, cautious of certain sections of it. But beyond that, I would still recommend it if they liked the first one. Yeah, no... Do, do, we, get should mods, really warn, we should have really warned them of the uh, India level. Yeah, the wanted part. Okay. Actually, the wanted part. Changing the screen share over to the browser so we can look for who to raid. Uh, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Zoe is playing Rant Simulator. Uh, Zoe of Holy. York skills, that is. Uh, uh, hmm? Look at how many viewers own Valheim. Uh, Valheim, Valheim, Valheim. You... Uh, there we go, 14k. Okay, and 88k, and oh, only 200. And f okay, Dark Tide dropped real quick. Only 258 viewers at the moment. Probably due to uh, the servers are down. Uh, also, yeah. Unless they just got up. Anyways, then let's have a look here. Uh, Touch Scaly Tail is playing Floppy Knights. Oh, I think I might have heard of that. I haven't. Uh, Halloween4545 is streaming Illusion of Gaia. Also can't say I've heard of that. Uh, WBPL76 is streaming Heroes of Mighty Magic 3 again. And then we have KSD1 streaming Shadows Over Loathing. Oh, it's someone is going online, it seems. Is going live at the moment. Oh, there's actually a three people going online extra. Torpid type, uh, you know, torp yeah, Torpid typist is play. Will be playing Dark uh, Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. Uh, little Karibo is starting up. Uh, inscription, it seems, and uh, Potatum is going to be streaming Red Dead Redemption, two. Uh, Red Dead Redemption. Oh, I've been seeing some clips there when someone was very unlucky. Fall of oh. a train, hit almost every board on the train bridge, <laughs> survive just to fall in mud, only to then get beaten by an alligator. Then die. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> Rockstar's game have uh, a history of such uh, <laughs> encounters. Yeah, but uh, still, what are the odds you survive just hitting every plank from 100 meters to just uh, to survive it <laughs> only then to get bitten by the alligator? Not just bitten, the damn thing aimed for his head. Uh, shall we raid Pertatum then? Uh, if they're going online, I may be able to even join in. Uh, actually, do I still have Red Dead Redemption 2 installed or not? If not, then, well, probably not if they... Let's see, Red... Oh yeah, it's not installed at the moment, so I'll probably not be able to join in if they're doing multiplayer. Oh well. <laughs> uh, oh dear. I hope by tomorrow I'll be able to finish whatever the hell happened to my mouth with uh, VC face here. Let, let me actually take a look it might be something to do with this update that's here that's probably it uh i'll just yeah. install that after this though you did seem a bit better at the end uh, not there okay back to twitch our own channel and uh yeah slash raids potato oh. hmm? I was to say, oh, now I see your mouth is not moving much. No, yeah. wait. Oh, wait, you should be this screen, then everything is delayed a bit then. And, uh, yeah, but before we start this raid, though, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Freedom... Uh, yeah. oh, I almost said Freedom... Thank you, Truth Fight, uh, Fighter 93 uh, for watching along and chatting along a bit. Uh, thanks for the... <laughs> thanks for the tip about the electric... Uh, yeah, the electric ammo. And, uh, yeah, thanks as always, as well, Dirk here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And, yeah, let's just start the raid off. Um, let's see. 
yeah tomorrow will be yeah, usually we yeah normally we do another stream of no one lives forever but because we're finished with the game we'll be moving on to rayman legends tomorrow in the afternoon and in the evening if we can stream again uh it'll be shantae again shantae and the seven sirens so uh, yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed what you saw Street fighter and uh, yeah <laughs> if not <laughs> No worries. I know I'm not a professional with this or anything. And, uh, yeah. Uh, until next time, have a nice day. And on I, I think I've completely forgotten my lines with this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Thank you, everyone, again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for super soldiers. <laughs> See ya. See ya.